These are the biggest moments from the 2022 MTV Europe Music Awards. The EMAs took place in Dusseldorf at the PSD Bank Dome, hosted by pop star Rita Ora and movie director Taika Waititi. Among the live performers were Gail, who played the angrier, rocked-up version of her massive hit ABCDEFU. The song reached number one in the UK, and she told us about putting together that heavier version of the track earlier this year. So when I was 15 in quarantine, I had played shows in four or five months, and I the shows I were playing were like writers' rounds and bars, so like nothing, nothing great. Um, but I saw the room of like a rock show packed full of people that were just sweaty and rowdy and just ready to rock and roll and I was just like that that is exactly what I want to do that's exactly the energy I want to have live in the best rock category Muse came out on top over fellow nominees including Foo Fighters and Mana Skin the band also performed the title track of their recent album Will of the People at the ceremony and in their acceptance speech frontman Matt Bellamy dedicated the award and the album to the women of Iran and the people of Ukraine Kalush Orchestra, the Ukrainian Eurovision winners, were also among the performers at the ceremony. They will no doubt be seen in the UK at the Eurovision Song Contest 2023 when it takes place in Liverpool this May. In the Best Alternative category, nominees included Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots and Youngblood, but it was Gorillaz who took home the award, with the Damon Albarn fronted band also performing Cracker Island featuring Thundercat. In the speech, Murdoch from the group thanked fans and said, This award actually means something because it's voted for by you. Outside of the rock world, pop megastar Taylor Swift was the big winner of the night, taking home awards for Best Artist, Best Pop, and Best Video and Longform Video. She also had the chance to catch up with Gail, who joins a huge lineup of support acts on her upcoming US tour, including Paramore. And it was a big night for K-pop, with Seventeen taking home two awards for Best New and Best MTV Push Artist. Fun fact, their massive single Rock With You was actually co-written by none other than Jordan from The Ready Set. It's amazing. All like It's kind of become a thing where because of that, like a lot more K-pop stuff kind of like, you know, ends up being stuff that I'm like working on sort of now and then. And it's so exciting because that stuff is so, so fun to make because you can really just like be as you know, creative as you want, and it still is just going to be like a crazy big pop thing. And it's like, to see it actually like live and stuff is the craziest thing ever. It's so fun. 2022 also saw a brand new category at the awards, the best metaverse performance, which saw the likes of Justin Bieber, BTS and Charlie XCX nominated alongside 21 Pilots for their Roblox Presents 21 Pilots concert experience. But the winners were Blackpink for their collaboration with PUBG and their in-game concert. Also new this year was the Best Long Form Video category, with Taylor Swift winning for All Too Well, and two nominations in the category for Foo Fighters, with the Taylor Hawkins Tribute Concert and their horror movie project Studio 666, which was released earlier this year. Other performers on the night included Stormzy, Louis Capaldi, One Republic, and David Guetta with BB Rexa, and the presenters included David Hasselhoff, Julian Lennon, and the UK's Sam Ryder, who adds this to the long list of huge moments he's had since his Eurovision success earlier this year, including perhaps most significantly performing with Queen and Foo Fighters at the Taylor Hawkins Tribute Concert at Wembley Stadium. You can catch full highlights from the show right now over on MTV. That's your Roxanne News update. I've been James Wilson-Taylor. We will see you again soon.